take two. I just filmed like an entire video and realized I didn't have my microphone on and uh, the sound was completely muted. So yay for me. Anyways, hi guys. Today I'm going to be doing my fragrance Dubois buying guide. I'm going to do one for men, one for women. And today we're doing the women. So uh, yes, if you know and you watch my channel, you know I just did like an exciting announcement video because I have teamed up with honestly one of my favorite brands in the world and if you watch my channel if you know me personally if you know me on my channel you know that i love fragrance super and i have talked about specifically a few of their fragrances for a long time now so i was super excited when the brand director came to me and said let's work together on a way that we can bring in your viewers and give them a great uh, opportunity to try out fragrance super so Basically, I spoke with Nicola, we've been talking for a little while now, and she offered me a 10% off discount code for my viewers only. So it's a completely exclusive discount code just for you guys. And uh, I was honestly so happy about it because if you don't know, I met the brand in Cannes for the first time. I had already tried a few of their fragrances, fell in love. I had Santal Complet. I'm pretty sure I had Oud, Oud Orange maybe as well at this time. And when I met them, I just realized that they're such a beautiful brand, the people and everything. And it just made me fall in love with it even more. And to me, Fragrance du Bois, it, it stands for like, luxury it stands for refinement it stands for distinguished classy it's just this beautiful brand it's not vulgar outrageous crazy um it's not you know vulgar is the word that i was looking for it's not obnoxious in your face where you're trying to show off like it's this brand that's just elegant refinement luxury Anyways, so today I had a lot of questions, like I had a lot of questions when I did my video announcing the discount code of Demi. Please, 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 please do a buying guide. Show us what you would recommend to us. Please, we need help. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'm just going to go through some of my favorites and uh, what I recommend to you guys. I'm going to describe the fragrances, review them a little bit so that you can get a better idea of... Um, what to buy. So with my discount code, it is 10% off the entire Fragrance Super Wild website. You can buy absolutely anything. You get 10% off with the code DEMI10. The catch is that it's only running for like five days. So you don't really have much time to purchase. But for me, like it's such a prestigious brand. They don't really offer discounts ever. Like it's very rare. So I was super excited when they wanted to come to me because they know personally me how much I love the brand. So they came to me and said, we want to offer your viewers. So 10% off everything for five days only. And the code is Demi10. So anyways, let's get into the review of some of my favorite fragrance of our fragrances. I think it's only fitting that I start off with this one. And if you know me, you know how much I love it. It is Santal Complet. And <sighs> honestly, like this is one of very few fragrances that makes me like emotional kind of. Like it just has this, it just makes me emotional. I don't know how to explain it. It's one of the most beautiful, creamy, soft, slightly powdery, just sensual. It's sensuality in a bottle to me. It is honestly one of the most beautiful fragrances that I've tried in my life and I'm just in love with it. Absolutely. It has vanilla, coconut, lemon, a little bit of violet. It's like I said, very creamy. There's a lot of sandalwood in here. There's coconut, there's vanilla. It's a little, it's got this kind of sour tinge to it, which to me like makes it, it brings a fragrance up. It gives it a sparkle. And to me, I've always said it, it reminds me of like fairy dust. Like if you imagine like what Tinkerbell would smell like, she would smell like Santal Complet. I don't know why I say this, but it just does. But for me, I feel like this is like a bridal fragrance. It's so beautiful, it's emotional, it's sensitive, it's sensual. And to me, it could fit a bride. So Santal Complet from Fragrance du Bois, incredible 12 out of 10 fragrance and one of my favorites for sure. Oud Orange Intense. Now, another one of my absolute favorites, this one is actually my boyfriend's favorite from the brand, Oud Orange Intense. He loves this fragrance. And to me, it's absolutely, absolutely divine. This is when I want to be noticed. This is when I want to show out. I want to be noticed. I want to stand out. I want to smell intoxicating. I want people to smell my trail, follow me and ask me what I'm wearing. This is when I wear Oud Orange. This, guys, is absolutely intoxicating. 
it's sweet, it's got vanilla, again, it's got coconut. It's got some fruity notes, maybe, like, I can't even, dis like, distinguish what are the fruity notes in here. Maybe some peach, almost. Peach or, like, maybe a little strawberry. I honestly, I cannot tell you guys. It has a lot of vanilla, a lot of, like, this fruitiness to it, but not in a, like, a tacky way. It's so beautiful. Again, you can trust when you buy a fragrance or a fragrance, they smell refined. It's just absolutely divine. It almost has like a little powderiness to it again, a little bit of a muskiness underneath. It is just incredible. Like I said, this is the one that I wear when I want to stand out. I want to stand out. I want to be noticed. This is the one that I wear. Just want to let you guys know, Santal Complex to me can be worn all year round, but it shines the most in the spring, summer months. Oud Orange Intense, again, all year round. But I feel like in very high humidity heat, it could be a little suffocating. For me in Dubai, I wear this one on like when I'm going out at night. Not that we can go out at night right now. But that's when I wear it. At night in the summer, it's incredible. It has a tropical sort of vibe. But like I said, it can be worn all year round. Summer, autumn, winter, spring. But in the very high, high heat under the sun, it can be a little much. Next up, we have another one of my favorites. My Bali scent. Ujun Intense. Now... This one is actually like my sister's favorite fragrance in the world. My sister Jenna. Hi, if you're watching. Uh, she is my other sister that you guys have never seen. And I gifted her a bottle of Ujun and it's her favorite fragrance in the world. It's her signature. She doesn't want to wear any other fragrance for the rest of her life. This is it. And I know why. Because it's also one of my favorites, as you can see by the juice. Also, guys, I want to let you know with the juice. As you can see, this one is like very orange. They did adjust their juice color, I think, because when you have a color of juice like this, it can stain your clothes. So I believe that they kind of made all of their color like this, I think. And uh, just so you don't think that the fragrance is off or something like that. It's just because when, when a fragrance looks like this, it can stain your clothes. Anyways, Ujun Intense. Like I said, I wore this the entire trip that when I went to Bali with Pierre. And it just reminds me of Bali now. It's so tropical. It's so beautiful. This one does work in the heat. It's just incredible. To me, it's floral, but not too floral and obnoxious. Like, um, it's not like an alien or something. It's not tuberose. It's not gardenia. It's not jasmine. It's not orange blossom. It's tiare flower, which is a beautiful, light, creamy, tropical white floral, which is how I describe it. It's fruity, like some passion fruit or pineapple. So it has this punchiness to it, like this almost sour punchiness. I think there's a little bit of a coconut in there as well, but it is just, guys, it is just beautiful. This one is amazing. Again, I wear it when I want to show out. Oud Orange Intense, I think, is a little stronger. Oud Jun is still strong, but for me, you can still wear it in the day. You can wear it to go shopping. You can wear it to go to lunch. You can wear it on a night out. Summer night out, you guys. This one, whoa, and oud orange for a summer night out. Wow, like wow. So oudun intense. As you guys know, I talk about it a lot, and I cannot stop wearing it. It's one of my absolute favorites. Another one of my favorites. I only have a baby bottle of this one. Oud rose intense. I have a big bottle at home, thank God. But oud rose intense. This is different to the other three that I just spoke about. This to me makes me feel like. I'm worth like, I'm priceless. Like it makes me feel so expensive, so luxurious, so classy, so just elegant. I feel like an elegant woman when I wear this scent. This is what I would wear to like a fancy dinner, maybe even an event or something where I just want to smell like a woman. I want to smell like I'm wearing Christian Louboutin heels and a Chanel suit. I don't own any of those things, but I'm dreaming, but the scent of this, it makes you feel like you're rich. Like it makes you feel expensive, luxurious, womanly. And I just adore it. If you don't know how it smells, to me, it is beautiful. And it gives me a similar feeling of Ombre Nui from Christian Dior. It has rose, it has some spiciness there from some pink pepper. It has a little bit of a soapy touch to it, which I'm not sure where it's coming from, but there's a beautiful soapy touch to it, which I love. And it almost has like a little sweetness in the background. But for the most part, it's a very beautiful, not overpowering rose scent with 
a little soapy touch, like I said, a little bit of a spiciness and a little sweetness underneath. And like I said, guys, like I cannot tell you the way that I feel when I wear this scent. That's what I love actually about a lot of fragrance of fragrances is that they actually make you, well, for me, they make me feel an emotion. They make me feel like I smell a certain way, which I personally love. So yeah. Anyways, moving on. The next one that I have here, I don't think you girls have heard me talk about it. It is called Milano. It is from their fashion collection and I actually smelled it for the first time in Cannes last year. And this one is gonna shock you guys because it is actually a leather-based fragrance, which usually I hate leather. I cannot tell you guys how much I hate leather. I hate it. I had to sell like five leather fragrances that I blind bought in my collection because I just hate the notes so much. But in Milano, Again, I'm not just saying this. It is done so well to the point where I don't even know how to explain it. It's because of the way that the juice has been crafted. It smells super refined, super expensive. It's not overpowering. It's not a heavy leather. This fragrance is actually a fresh fragrance. Like to me, it's got a freshness to it. It's like an in-between being a strong, fresh fragrance. It's like sitting right in between. It has a beautiful opening. It almost smells like it's got a little bit of like melon, like rock melon in it or the green melon. And when it settles down, it doesn't transform too much. You get the leather. And I'm going to be totally honest right now. It almost has a hint of Baccarat Rouge 540 inside. It almost has a hint of Baccarat Rouge. I'm not sure where I'm getting this uh, feeling from. But when you spray it on, the dry down becomes a little sweet and the leather is still there. So for me, it has this addictive Baccarat quality with the leather on top. And in the opening, it, it's very fresh, which I love. Milano definitely can be worn all year round for me. Summer, autumn, winter, spring, in the heat, in the cool weather. I love it. Personally, I love to wear this one wearing all black, obviously, because it's leather. All black, night out, um, just whenever. Honestly, I love wearing this fragrance and I'm shocked because I never thought I would say that I love a leather fragrance, Milano. Next up, we have another one from the fashion collection. I have spoken about this one. It is New York Fifth Avenue, my favorite city in the world, New York. And this one, Guys, this one is so good, but I'm gonna be honest. You have to like oud to like this fragrance It kind of is along the lines of like oud bouquet Etc, but to me the oud is more present in New York Fifth Avenue. You definitely smell the oud It's not overpowering to the point where it smells like barnyard skanky oud, but it's definitely present So you don't you should be familiar with oud and you should kind of like oud to get this one. It has a sweetness to it for sure. There's definite sweetness, like some praline or caramel. It's just beautiful. There's also rose in here, but to be honest, like I don't get the rose way too much. I do get the rose, but it's not overpowering again. It's being perfectly balanced between the oud, the rose and the sweet notes where it's just a beautiful combination. Personally, I love it. I actually like to mix this one. I don't know why, but I like to mix it with other like sweet fragrances or smoky fragrances. And I just love it. Not that it needs to be mixed at all because it's like a very complete fragrance in itself, but I'm crazy about fragrance. So that's why. But New York Fifth Avenue for me, the way I wear it is uh, nights out. I like to wear this one nights out, summer night out, winter night out. I love to wear it and I'm obsessed with the scent, honestly. Uh, it's not, it's probably, yeah. So yes, like I said, you do have to like oud to like this one, but it's not overpowering where it's like oud, if you know what I'm saying. New York Fifth Avenue Fragrance du Bois, incredible. Finally, my recommendation for you girls, this one is probably the one in the list that is like the most masculine, yet it doesn't smell masculine to me at all. Oud Blue Intense. Now, This is absolutely like one of the most unique fragrances that I've tried in a very long time. I have a massive bottle at home again because I had to have it. I smelled it actually for the first time on one of the directors of the brand in Cannes and I couldn't understand what he was wearing. I said, what are you wearing? That smells absolutely intoxicating, like wow. And he told me, obviously I'm wearing fragrance de bois. I was like, oh, I get it. He was wearing Oud Blue Intense and to me it is just, it's intoxicating in a weird way. This fragrance is bizarre. It's fresh, it's spicy, it's a little sweet, it's balsamic, 
it has some tonka bean, it has some orange in the top, but the orange is, it's just like I'm s astonished. Maybe it's mandarin. Like I said, it's spicy, it's fresh, it's citrus, it's a little sweet, it's addictive, it's balsamic. It's just absolutely a wow fragrance. This one is just, guys. But like I said, it's more of a unisex scent. To me, I don't think many girls that like a Ujun and Rouge Malachite from Armani and Atomic Rose from this year, I don't feel like you're gonna like this one. But personally, me, I love wearing Oud Blue Intense. I love wearing it and that's just my opinion. So Oud Blue Intense from Fragrance Bar. If you're more of a girl who likes maybe a Balenciaga Flora Botanica, you're going to love this fragrance here. Like, I know you're going to love this one. It's super unique and beautiful. So, Oud Blue Intense. I will go through very quickly, just breeze through my favorites of the brand. I don't have one favorites. Like, I don't, honestly, I can't pick between four of them, which one is my favorite. But, Santal Complet, Oud Orange, Oud Jun. If you have the same taste as me and you watch my videos, you feel like we have the same taste, any of these three, I feel like you would love, like absolutely love, especially Oud Orange and Oud Jun. I feel like you would honestly love these fragrances if you have the same taste as me. Again, Oud Rose is one of my personal favorites. It reminds me of Ombre Nui from Christian Dior and it makes me like, it, I just told you guys, like it makes me melt when I wear it because I feel so amazing. Um, Oud Blue, like I said, it's so good. It's so good, but it's very much like it's a unique fragrance and I don't feel like it's going to be most women who like very floral, sweet, feminine fragrances. This one is very different and more of a conceptual fragrance. Then we have the fashion collection Milano, the leather. If you like leather, if you like that kind of, you want to be like more of a bad girl, Milano, same with New York Fifth Avenue, bad girl, oud, rose, sweet. These are bad girl fragrances like CEO, don't mess with me fragrances. Same with oud rose actually. Anyways, that is it you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about my fragrance of what I'm going to answer all of the comments so I can help you guys. Don't forget, five days only, it's gone forever. I'm, they won't do a discount code because, it's, again, it's a very prestigious niche brand and they don't offer discounts very often. So if you want to take advantage of the code, it's just Demi10 for 10% off your entire order. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.